In today's right lovely video, we actually fixed the game of Arms Trade Tycoon. We've done it right lovely. Look, tanks of goodness. And oh look, more tanks of goodness. Isn't that absolutely fantastic? We'll be able to mix up these tanks and make something monstrous. Hopefully, this will give us more options for the French tanks. All the while, Europe is at war, murdering itself. The British are murdering the Ethiopians with our right lovely tanks. More technology is created and honestly, it's oh, just oh. fantastic. Stay tuned for more. You must love gaming because you are watching this video, so why not save yourself some money and get on instant gaming? They have everything you could possibly want. The new stuff, the pre-order stuff and the classics. Honestly, you're missing out if you don't get on here. There's a link down below in the description. You can thank me later. Everybody, check it out. Look what I've done. I fixed the game. Yeah. So that one that I couldn't grab earlier or before, whatever you want to call it. I can now get it. How wonderful is that? Ah, oh, brilliant. That makes me rather excited because that means that everything is now fixed. And that is it. Oh, this must be one of the newer ones. I see, I see. Would you look at that? Squirtiness and the cannon. Mmm, we better break this apart. I will do the hull first. You think so, wouldn't you? Do the hull first. It'll take bloody 41 days. What's going on with that? I need more engineers. Just in case you didn't know, this is Arms Trade Tycoon, which is now actually ready to be played. Isn't that right, lovely? It's just hit early access, meaning you can, you can play the game now as it is uh, the exact one that I'm playing now, actually. Isn't that fantastic? If you do get it, I think it's around 20 quid on Steam, and you like it, do leave a review for them. That would be rather fantastic. Ooh, sugar lumps. I've just realized I've loaded the wrong save. What a lemon. There we go. Let's try that again. And oh, would you look at that? There are now two tanks which I can buy. Isn't that right, lovely? Now, we left it where I was an absolute lemon and accidentally missed out on a contract opportunity of payday, which is not very nice. So another company got the contract just because I forgot to press buttons. If you have a look now in the tank call, look, we've got all of ours and then we've got that. Which annoys me greatly, not going to lie. But it is what it is. We'll just have to deal with it and wait for the next one. Hopefully another contract will come from another country. I really am hoping so. Romania and well, all of this is just at war with each other. One of them, you'd think, will go for tanks. Greece could definitely do with some. They've been at war since the start. I don't know how they're still going. Most of their armed forces have been disintegrated. Albania is definitely up the sticks now. They're being invaded by, well, Serbia and the Greeks. Serbia is at war. Oh, it's just a mess. Well, look, Serbia is at war with the Hungarian Empire. Romania is at war with the Hungarian Empire. Bulgaria is having to go at the Greeks as well. France and Belgium are murdering each other. And I think Germany is having another go as well at France. Yes, they are. Not very good, is it? We are actually researching the extended high pass running gear now, which will go on to the Mark V hull. And we should have some nice juicy things that we can pull apart from these tanks that we've just grabbed. So here they are, one and two. One is a turret with machine guns, and the other one, different hull, is a turret with machine guns. Is getting wet. Oh no, that's not a turret. What's that? It's a sponson. That might even be a bigger gun. It is. That's a six pounder. Ooh, I like it. We might get some of these and see what happens. So that is a LK Corrupt. Is that the same as the other one? No, it's actually different. Is the engine the same? Yeah. I think they're all the same, apart from the main bit, which is the turret and such. We shall pull these apart 
Let's see what wacky creations we can make. Many of these pieces, I suspect, we can stick onto other designs. So we'll break these apart gradually. All these different bits from the Germans will be fantastic. There's very good stuff in here. What we can do, once we've researched all of it, then I will integrate the technology into our own. Making our tanks even better. Isn't that right, lovely? I'm producing the Hornet. Oh, yeah, that's what I did, wasn't it? I scrapped these, I oh, know, that one, and I oh, see, look, there's room for a turret on there. There might even be a room for a turret on top of that. You never know. I do want to investigate that drastically. That'll be great. But now we scrapped the whippets and built this thing instead. We've still got a few of them to do. There was a whiff of, I think it was Spain, wanting potentially some female tanks. So the next step is to build, well, scrap the female Mark II and just go for the combination, build more of them because they're a best of both. Here we go. So this is the Mark V hull as well. If I can get a load of these built, ready for them, that would be great. I mean, I missed out on the contract, so I think I do have some of these built already, which is lovely. These are much better. There's also the combination one which I did for the Mark 1 hull, but the number 2 is far superior. And then the female ones, they just have the machine guns on. So we'll just have to um, see where we get on. I, I definitely think they'll enjoy this one a lot more, especially with the high explosive shells that we have in the cannon and so on. I'll just show you what I'm on about. So if we have a look at the... British, we've got the Vanguard tank, which I believe is the one with the cannons on, they prefer that. And then there's the Fusillade tank, which is more infantry murdering based. And the, yeah, look, see, the Spanish, I want Fusillade. So I am wondering if they're going to go and buy some. Now, the French, they have already got some of their own tanks, which is really annoying a wire crusher tank and a saturation tank. So that'll be the Renault FT-17 thing. This is a new one that I need to somehow acquire. I don't quite know how I'm going to do that, but we'll figure it out. We need combat to happen. Once combat happens, then we can actually acquire them. But I don't think so far they are being used in the combat. So they're not being used in the combat with Belgium and France. And they're not being used between France and Germany. And so far, the only people that do have tanks is us and the French. The Germans don't yet. So we'll just have to see what goes on with that, won't we? But it is only 1916. We'll have to see how the things progress. Well, what do you think that these parts will go well on? Let me know in the comments. That'll be great. Is this hull, will this sponsor go anywhere? I don't know. Maybe we can stick some Hornet tracks on this thing. That'll be quite funky. That oh, will be quite funky. That'll be great. The engine, will it come in handy? Don't quite know. It's only a little four-cylinder, but they're usually quite wacky. German and engines, after all. That's the six-pounder gun. Is that the German version? Is that better than our gun? I don't know. That'd be interesting. The machine gun, they're usually more for rapid fire, the German ones, rather than range, which is the one that we've got currently. So we'll see how that goes on. Bit of a boxy design, is that, isn't it? But it is what it is. Supplies are coming in. We're not doing too bad on that one. Tanks that we actually have in storage. There we go. Look, see, so we've got the male Mark VI. We've got the combination of the Mark ones. So the next one that I am going to build is the Mark V combination. So I'll be scrapping those female ones. They are quite old now, them, actually. Nobody's bought them. I'll get most of my resources back, but it is what it is. I'm hoping somebody likes to own it. That'd be good. Mark 5, Mark 1 combo. I need to set that into trials. Oh, I already did that, apparently. Seven days to go, then I can fix it. Now, there's ten people rammed in that, which isn't very good. <laughs> That's why there's about a million defects on the damn thing, but it is what it is. Now, let's see where we get on. The engineering lot currently aren't doing anything. Just what did we research last time? Was it the hull? I think it was just the hull. 
did I update it? That's a jolly good question. Looking at this, it does look like I did. So the main tank that we build does look fully up to date. Yeah, I like that. We're, we're good. We're good. Excellent. But that is the old version anyway. The Mark V. This is, yeah, this will be all up to date. We've just done that. Then we also have the Hornet and Whippet pulls. Looking at this, the Whippet could do with a update. Might set them off doing that. Now, we're probably not going to build much of this, so we'll go on a hunt for something else. Is this up to date? This is the Hornet hull. It would appear to be. It's got all the Site 2s and the External Communication Marks 2s. Lovely. And I think everything else is nice and dandy. Combination sponsor as best as it's going to get with our current technology. I would like some internal crew com communication. I think we're going to get that soon. I'll have to have a look at the research. But the male and female sponsor, do I bother updating these? I think I will for when we get a resupply. And it looks like we can get a small upgrade. I might just get them doing that. So that's the male sponsor. And I presume that we're going to have to do another one for the female one. But this will get them going. Turret door mark three and everything else. So this would legit only be to update existing designs for when there's a resupply. And it only takes four days. So you might as well bung it together. Looking at the female one. That looks up to date. Okay, okay. That's good. So we can actually prep a lot of stuff to be done. Oh, that's the thought. When we unlock that gun. Re reverse engineer that we might be able to update ours maybe I should have done the gun first I'll have to look at that as soon as I get a chance the machine guns there might be some pieces in the German one which I prefer we'll have to see we'll do with an update in this department really the engine this is the next thing that I'm going to be upgrading the old one could do with an update as well so I will get a draft in Ooh, but then again, the Mark II is so much lighter than the Mark III. I didn't think of that. And cheaper. The radiator. Yeah, it's better. Maybe that's why I didn't update that then. No, I don't want to save that. Mark II, light and light. Yeah, okay. Now, I see what I did there. Carburetor would be a small improvement i think we'll leave that for now oh then again the flywheel oh we can do an updated version then so i am just gonna let them have one in the draft so that if it comes to time where i can update it oh hang on oh it's heavy but it's a lot better um i can compare it if we get some new tech and then just skip one if you know what i mean so we'll save that and that's just in draft now so we haven't done that how about the normal engine yes our main engine could also do with a update don't know where we got these parts from must have been from something else but we can get some good stuff on here side brakes mark three that might be better flywheel that's cheap not cheap um, you know what I'm trying to say there you go it's the radiator that's heavy and the transmission we'll keep that as that then the tracks themselves including the old stuff can we update this further I don't think so we are researching more tracks as we speak so we'll probably get some more parts for that the Hornet one I don't think so no they're all about the same really yeah not too bad in the design lot these guys are just kind of stand around doing nothing at the moment which i'm fine with they could do with a break but look at all these tanks that we've made it's ridiculous we need to fix all the flaws in this mark 5 one and seeing as we're updating all the other stuff at the moment anyway i'm not going to bother getting them doing anything they can have a they can have a nap currently none of our tanks are 
involved in any wars. They murdered some Ethiopians and some Belgians so far. Britain currently is on a war, but that can change at any time. Romania and Hungary murdering each other. France and Belgium. Belgium triumphed and has gained... Belgium beat the French. Nice, they managed to keep hold of their territory. I mean, they've not got much in terms of an army left. Many people have been murdered in that. Artillery has been hammered. Surprised the French gave up, to be honest. We've got a much larger and stronger military. Many of their infantry has been hammered, though. Maybe that's why. Still interested to know how Greece gets on. Are they going to conquer that part of Albania? Is Bulgaria going to take part of Greece? It's just a huge mess around here. Is Hungary going to manage to invade part of Serbia and Romania? That'll make them a bit stronger. Don't know. Oh, mail sponsor was done. What was the other one that I put on? It was the engine, weren't it? Five days. We'll get them to update that one. It is a bit better. Even our main engine is a little bit better. Always good practice to keep your bits all up to date. Oh, our medium Hornet Mark 1 has completed. That means... Oh, hang on. We only have 10 of them. Okay. Oh, yeah. I see what I've done here. So, I'm going to delete those female Mark IIs and build more combinations. Well, that'll be lovely. So, we'll delete these ones. These are the female Mark II. 20 of them. We get 8% of the stuff back. Because we've got a building that helps us with that. So, we're going to get most of those resources back. And now that gives me room because I've only got a maximum of 100 tanks to build more combination Mark IIs. Oh, hang on a minute. No. That's what I've got in storage. I haven't got any of these ones yet. Oh, I need to do that. Oh, did I take the tail wheel off that one that time? Oh, I did. Oh, they do look better, don't they? That's much better. We'll get 30 of them going. We've got the resources for it. So these are even better. Lovely. 53 days. That'll keep them entertained. Trials have just been completed for it. So we better fix all the things that are wrong with it. 10 things wrong with it because it's, it's, it's got 10 crew out of a possible 10 in there so it gets so crammed it's hurting the performance of the crew that are inside because they've got no room to maneuver or do anything but we can actually fix these things by throwing money at it those first bits crew performance has been drastically increased by doing that the rest of it is more just to make sure the Government doesn't know how bad it is. Oh, reliability. Yeah, reliability has actually been improved. Oh, the structure and the power unit. Oh, lovely. Ready for sale. Oh, yeah, forgot about that. Norway and Denmark murdering each other. And Norway is also at war with Sweden. We'll have to have a look at that later. That's the old engine updated. I better get this one going that we sorted out earlier. And the little upgrades make a big difference when you're sticking a new tank together. New supplies needed again, always from Africa. How many of these new ones can we actually get in? 13, not bad. Only takes 10 days to do that, rather than a lot longer. Ooh, nice battle. Let's have a look. Oh, the Germans murdered the French. Lots of Frenchmen murdered, 3,000 French and 1,500 Germans. That's rough going, is that? Oh no, the British are doing it again. Looks like we're going in to polish off the Ethiopians. We'll have to see where that springs up. We did that last time. And another battle, Bulgaria and Greece concluded. We'll have to have a look at that one shortly. But we've got more supplies we can get in. No delays. This is good. This means that we can actually start getting our supplies up for a change. I'm actually managing to get 13 tanks worth because of the upgrades that we have in the production hall. Which boost the... Well, reduce the resources needed in our designs. Which is fantastic. But now there's a big fat delay. That's not right nice, is it? Typical. Ah, oh, here we go. This is what is happening. The British, they're going to be using my tanks again against the Ethiopians. They've gone a bit overkill. Artillery, cavalry, 
and they already hammered a little bit infantry just against the ethiopian infantry the british empire's military strength has just grown and grown and grown and grown a lot of people are going to get murdered in this one and intensity is extreme we managed to do the reverse engineering of the hull on this thing now we're going to do the six pounder and see if that yields anything juicy another battle won yet again by the germans the french are having a good day this is the battle between serbia and austro-hungarian empire the serbs uh, running out of troops to be completely honest that's not great see if they can hold on they seem to be doing a good job of it so far with fairly equal terms on the war the greeks and albanians the greeks smashed the artillery not the artillery the infantry with their artillery that was a good one we'll see how that carries out this is another one that we need to keep an eye on norway and denmark Many people being murdered Norway is also at war with Sweden. That is somehow going both, well, not too bad, but the Norwegians are running out of troops. Look, that's not going to be right good if they keep doing that. They can't carry that on for too long. Oh, the Austrians murdered the Romanians. And it looks like the Romanians lost territory. Or was that part of hungry anyway i'm not too sure but it doesn't look too good for romania they've only got three points of territory left including their capital we'll see how that turns out serbia is at war with albania there as well that's not looking good neither so this is ethiopia they british conquered tigru whatever that says last time now they're after ref whatever, whatever that's called there's not going to be much, too much left of them after this. They might even end up going for the capital next. Which would pretty much mean the end of Ethiopia. Ooh, new tank type adopted. Serbia now want the Nest Buster tank. This is something that we don't have. But if they're actually interested in tanks, there might be a buyer. I think that is a German design, so we'll have to see how that turns out if they end up getting any. Ooh, supplies are in. I can get some more. Hey, tell you what, this will be the first time in a long time we're actually over 100,000 resources. How good is that? Right lovely, is that right lovely? Ooh, research has been completed. We now have the extended high pass running gear. Oh, is there an engine that I've not stuck together yet? Oh, I need to do that. Apparently I've researched it. I don't remember doing that one, not going to lie. And now I would very much like to start going down towards the Liberty Tank. Yes, there's still things that I can do around here, but I think we've got enough weaponry. Having another, well, having this... We're just going to be improving it in other ways, really. We've got really good weapons, as it is. Our main customer and currently only customer are interested in hard firepower. So things like general accuracy will be good. Armor piercing rounds for the machine guns will be good. And so on and so on. And there's another one. Improved armor piercing rounds. That will be good. The gun, the light gun here, isn't as good. It does pump out more wallop in terms of... Oh, hang on a minute. No, this is different now. It used to be worse. Firepower hard. This is a six-pounder. Firepower 109. And then you look at the light naval gun. And the firepower is more. Interesting. Well, what about pen penetration? Kinetic penetration three and then you look at the bigger gun and it's much higher see that is deceiving it might be reload better it might have more accuracy and everything else but if it doesn't penetrate the enemy's tank then it's not going to do you any good really is it but the improved naval gun again that still isn't as good 
but it does take in some of the other general stats as well what will help is all of these optics and everything else they I mean this one loves us look rate of fire rate of fire accuracy rate of fire everything else all that kind of malarkey and then you've got bits on here which again rate of fire anti fricochet that is good rate of fire lots of rates of fire in this but now that is good and gun elevation and depression depression is the big one then you can shoot down more but when it's in a sponsor i suppose you'll be limited anyway there's not exactly much room in there looking at the coastal defense six pounder gun kinetic penetration is still not that good actually i'm surprised about that kinetic penetration six and then you look at the naval gun eight hmm but it does lack in other areas interesting we'll have to see how we go down the line at the moment i'll just stick with ours and see what the german one comes up with might be better the new engine as we're going along will be fantastic but i'm only going to do that once we have the liberty hull there is a tier two i've got to get to 400,000 points of goodness currently I'm only at 21,000 which is a little bit challenging although you get stuff for each one of these landmarks really so we'll have to see how we get on to improve the mark 5 hull what I do need to do is grab this central cab this will give us vision ports for it and stuff but internal communication that is a very good one and not only that but you can stick that on top it's just better then we can get the steel which will be right lovely and then we can get the hull for the mark 8 the liberty and this is another one but it goes on top of it including internal radios which would be good you can't imagine it being right easy to hear anything in there not gonna lie but at the moment we're looking central cab the better steel the liberty hull then the extended tracks or the engine and then or oh, the fuel as well and then the central cab and then we'll see where we're at so i'll get that central cab working now so 80 days for that it's ridiculous but with the new tracks here they are tadpole ones Isn't that right lovely even longer than the previous ones overall are they better does it look like it but we haven't stuck anything in it yet so we'll go do that now track inserts we'll go for the track inserts mark two. Oh, they're new them are the old ones these are the new ones more reliable i think heavier though however the other ones are much cheaper a little bit less reliable but they do go up and down a little bit easier so i might stick with them idler at the front uh reliability no, repairability is quite high on that one but it is significantly more expensive reliability is what the british desperately want now so i might go for that what is it on this i see it's higher on the track inserts mark two i might just go for the maximum that we can get the british might like it more which means i should be able to rinse more money out of them out of this the road wheels mark two i do believe are much better don't know why the mark threes are worse in every possible way <laughs> what's that about sprocket mark five is awful the four is better i think that that is going to be the best one we'll go for that and then we can stick some cooling valves on the edge of it we'll see what this comes out with nine days for that you look attribute some 175 that just doesn't seem to be as good why would you oh it can hold more weight though that's the thing mass limit 3900 whereas on the war horse oh yeah it's drastically lower see i see we'll have to do a comparison that'll be interesting actually will the extra weight capacity be better simply because it's not buckling all the time which is a bit of a issue half the time with these tanks 
Greece and Albania murdering each other. Another one, Serbia and Albania. Albania is having a hard time. Junior completed a tadpole. Yeah, hey, look, attribute sum is not as good. 175. It's obviously better than the first one that we did. But it's not better. Oh, apparently it is. 162 on the war horse. So it's only a little bit better. Look at the size difference on that. You've got that. And that. That is such a transformation. That's insane. They did that so they can get across anti tank trenches and such because they just dug the trenches wider and then the tanks couldn't get across them. Where is that engine? Oh, here it is. I need to do that. What a lemon. I don't know why I didn't do this before. Get this done. Side brakes mark three. Far better than everything else. Try to keep the weight down. Radiator mark three. So heavy. We'll go for the radiator mark two instead. Stats are roughly the same. Just cheaper. Carburetor mark two. Better. Flywheel. The Mark III is much better. Transmission, the Mark III, much heavier. Transmission 2 and the 3 have the same number of stats. However, they're just allocated slightly differently. The main thing is the weight. The weight on the Mark II is much nicer. We'll go for that, I think. And we'll stick that together. Six days, start incorporating that one in. New tank revealed, Hector Mark IV. Okay, so that is our main competition at the moment. That means we'll be getting less money for our tanks. <laughs> Not right, is it? More wars and battles finishing off. Hungary and Serbia will have to have a quick gander. Greece and Albania have decided not to murder each other anymore. And Greece did it. They took... The rat. Nice. Go on, Greece. Economic strength is 81 now. Can't remember what it was before, but it was definitely less than that. Nearly double of Bulgaria, and then the other ones that they're at war with now. I'd click on Serbia, but it won't let me because they're currently being blown up by the Hungarians. And oh, that is not good. There's been a couple of battles that have gone really badly in Serbia's, uh, Hungary's favour. Look at that. Oh, that is not good. The Hungarians murdered nearly three, four hundred cavalrymen at a loss of four artillery guns. That's a lot. They're running out of people in Serbia. There's not much left of them. Let's have a look at Albania. Not much left of them in terms of military forces, neither. And they're still at war with Serbia. What do the Serbs have there? Just some infantry. Could go either way at this point. Serbia are currently winning that. Albania might not exist in uh, not much longer. Over here, it's still going in Germany's way against France, and we're yet to see anybody get murdered in the Ethiopian sector. Our 30 Mark V Mark Ones are complete. Nice. Now, this is what we have in storage 10 Hornets, 30 of the brand new combination tanks. Then we've got some of the old combination tanks, and then some of the male Mark VI tank. Oh, hello, cat. I want to keep all of them, because I reckon I can sell them all, and I'd rather not sell them. Not only that, but because we missed up on that contract before, we've kind of goofed up. So really, I should stop buying resources and everything, and wait till I've got a contract. Oh, speaking of which, here we go. Oh, that's nice. Let's have a look. See, they want a Vanguard tank. Let's have a look at our competitor. Oh, this is a new thing. Buy insights as to what's in it. Ooh. That wasn't there before. I like this. This is a feature that I didn't know existed. So they still want firepower hard and everything else. We have... Let's have a look. That, oh, wrong one again. I always click that. Wow, okay, they really like that. Mark 5, Mark 1. What's the stats on the new one? Oh, oh! 
I see. Now we don't have the ability to see what the enemy's tanks are right with that. I see, I see. I see what they're doing here. So you have to pay. Ah, oh, that's just nasty. I don't want to pay for both. We'll just go for about 450 on the success score. Man, right, that's going to cost you now, is it? See how it is. Well, we've got Mark 5, Mark 1. They clearly like that. 1,175 points of goodness. We've got this one, which is considerably less. 994. And then we have a load of these. Oh, success got 14. Oh, that's the female. Oh, that's why. We have the male one. There we go. 822. You see the drastic difference in the tanks? It's nearly up. You know, a good third. Seeing as we are low on money, I might actually just flog them these. Oh, but look, quantity to 48. Ooh, that is nice. Oh, you know what I'm going to have to start doing now? I'm going to have to start getting more of the same one in. Right, tell you what I'll do. I've got 30 of these in now. Oh, they don't want less than that. They want 32. Right, okay, but we can build a couple more. Oh, I can't even read the build anymore. I'm going to have to scrap the male mark six. Get rid of them. Start building some more of these. Then I can whack it up. Oh, man. This is going to be a bit of bath, isn't it? Well, producing the tank themselves doesn't actually cost me anything. Because I've already got people in there stood about doing nothing at the moment. So, I'll just get them building another third. Oh, I can't. need to scrap them first. Sort that out. Where is it gone? Here it is, right. So because you can't send them more than one tank design, which bothers me, I'm going to have to scrap these 30 of these. I do a scrap. I don't want to get rid of the Hornets. Somebody might want them. We'll, um, we'll get rid of the Mark 6s. That's going to be quite painful. We have storage for that. We, well, we don't, but they've just been shafted in there. And now I can start building more. Now, how many? Do I just do a full what's it? See how we get on. Where's it gone? Here it is. So it'll legit take me. All right, so it's two days of tank, essentially. So if we, well, just under. So if we go on that basis, get them all going. And then Mark 5, Mark 1, that one. Which they cream over. I'm just thinking of the time. If I was to get up to 48 tanks, which is the maximum of what they want, that means I need 18 more tanks. Roughly two days a tank. Talking 36 days. Call it 33 because we've got a few upgrades. And then it takes around a month to deliver tops. Well, that's with a I oh know it's not even a month it's about 17 days and that includes if there is a delay so two months from now then which is actually less than what they want anyway 28th of the 5th now 28th of the 7th thing is if you look at the success score it doesn't actually give me that much more so if I just bump it up to whatever it was I can actually bump it up further without impacting it so we'll go for that we'll just give myself more time in case I don't know somebody murders themselves in the production hall and then we oh wow we can really get some money from this one so they were at what 450 I think I guesstimated that to be safe that's gonna be nearly 2 million let's do that everything's in motion for it we better do it so if they're going to want more tanks now then i definitely think i'm going to have to change the way that i do things in here so yeah we'll have to see how we get on i'm going to have to make sure i've got lots of the same tank in at all times to be able to do it reverse engineering completed that is lovely 
We can have a look at that shortly, but what do we want next? Maybe the engine? We'll do that next. And again, attributes of 157. Mm. A lot of the German stuff is really good, though. We can really improve our own designs with that. But if we have a look at this, the hull is different. That turret, I definitely like that. I might get the hull of this first, or do we just finish off the other one? I might finish off the other one first. We'll do the engine. I reckon there'll be some good pieces in there that we can use. And then the tracks. All these bits we can use. We'll do the lot before we start playing. Can have a quick gander at this gun now. Where's it gone? Is it the exact same as ours? Can't seem to find it. What is going on? Not there. Oh, it is the same. Oh, what a lemon. How can the Germans have the exact same gun? How does that make sense? Unless they stole our gun. Oh, I never thought of that. That is just cheeky. Germans. Sweden has revamped its artillery with a bigger artillery gun. That is relevant. They are currently at war. There's another war. Belgium and France again. Oh, jeez. Give it a rest. Sweden wasn't with that artillery. Here we go. They've got two artilleries. Now they are upgraded. That gives an equipment bonus 22%. That is monstrous. And they are currently at war with these guys who are not going to really, really be having a good day. See, their artillery now will be more punishing. The Norwegians are already on the back books. They're at war with Denmark. They've got less infantry available already and now they've upgraded their artillery so that is gonna smash them to pieces you'd think but the swedish have been having a bad time of it it might turn it around the regions have been doing a good time of beating them back so this is what's going on up here iceland the danes are fending off the norwegians Surprisingly, the Danish have quite a large army, considering the size of them. Albania is slowly losing troops. Serbia is not much better, but they are... Oh yeah, they're still at war with them. <laughs> oh, no idea how that's going to play out, but it looks like... Oh, they're going... The Belgians are on the offensive now, with their infantry and artillery. And the French... Oh, what's that? They have a man, Robert... Nuivelle. Commander bonus, 10%. Okay, he's in charge of the infantry. Oh, but the Belgians have got that as well. Oh, okay, I didn't actually realise that one. Don't know who's going to win that. You'd think the French would use the tanks, wouldn't you? But they're refusing to do. Oh, lovely. The British have accepted our contract. What is this? Oh! Serbia has been occupied today in somber day for the history of the world as the campaign in uh, Vajodina end <laughs> ends with a decisive victory from the Hungarian Empire as their nation is now fully occupied and their military beaten back all front. What? Serbia has signed a humiliating armistice and total surrender. Is expected soon the name of Serbia will be put on a footnote left pages of history as winner looks integrated. Okay. Is that because they took the capital? But it's still there. I mean, yeah, the capital's gone. Let's have a look at external politics. See, they're not in an alliance with them or anything. I think it's just because the capital got murdered. Interesting. Okay. But the country still exists. But they're no longer at war. I mean, Hungary is definitely going to be getting stronger and stronger from this. We'll see how this plays out. They've currently only got 10 regiments. Romania have 8 or so. Albanians are just getting murdered slowly to death not much left of them we'll have to see how that if anything happens down there still there uh, a few surprises in this game 
Ooh, I have just thought. Get rid of that a minute. We need to transport a load of bloody tanks to them lot, don't we? Yes, we do. Oh, I don't want that one. I want the transport one. Here we go. Yeah, how... See, look at the capacity. I'll say... Oh, they're at 60. I might have to use them. If I could do it only one hit, that'd be good. It is more expensive per tank. But there was a bug before, and I don't know if it's still a thing, but I can't really afford for that to happen. <laughs> Where you send off a load of tanks on the first lot, and then on the next lot, you can only send one at a time. I think they fixed it, but I'm not going to risk it when I'm so low on money. So we need 30, 48, and we have 34, so we need 14 more, then we're good. So that is about a month's worth of production, by which time... We'll be getting down to, yeah, that. And then we should get paid after that. So now we should be fine. If needs be, I can always get a bank loan, which I'll be able to immediately pay off. Belgium and France, again, murdering each other. Reverse engineering completed. Oh, we did the engine. Is the engine the same on this one? It is, so it's the same engine. We'll go for the tracks now. I suspect they're going to be the same as well. Bulgaria and Greece. Not later. Norway and Denmark. Another one. German. Oh, I forgot the Germans were at war with France. We'll have a look at that one. Oh, and the French won that one. The cavalry charged at the artillery. Nice. They actually took out a few guns there. Nice. Oh, we haven't seen them in a while. Ottoman Empire has decided to improve their artillery. Nice. Oh no, hang on a minute. Oh, they've researched heavy artillery. Now the British did that, but have they actually built one yet? That is a good question. And they've, just, they've been spending all their money on tanks, which is... Oh, they're going to be doing another one as well, is it? Oh jeez, right, okay. Oh, hang on a minute. That tank looks different. That. Oh, I don't know now. I've no idea. We'll have to have a look. But anyway, uh, what was I saying? Oh yeah, look, see? Heavy artillery. But they haven't built another one yet. I wonder if the Ottomans will. Oh, it was morale. Oh, I didn't even realise that. Could do, probably do with another symbol for heavy artillery. Really. Just maybe another fat gun at the back or something. Essentially siege artillery. Nasty stuff, really. Seven more tanks to go. Belgium and France. That battle's concluded. The French won it. There was only a low intensity battle. That wasn't too bad. Still. That battle that we looked at earlier. The Greeks are trying to... Well, they're being invaded by the Bulgarians. The Bulgarians are smashing them to pieces. They've nearly got double the amount of infantry left. Good for Bulgaria. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. No, no, no. Okay, the Danes managed to hold off. And keep hold of Iceland. Yeah, they must have lost a few more people. Cavalry and infantry got nerd a little bit. Can't quite see what's... Well, because I can't click on the capital because it's been murdered. We'll have to see how that plays out. Looks like they're going to defend it anyway, but... I'll be able to actually see what's going on in there. Ooh... Greece lost. That is legit the first loss the Greeks have, well, lost. <laughs> the Ottomans tried to murder them, then the Italians tried to murder them, then the Ottomans tried again, then I think the Serbians came, and then the Albanians came, and only just now the Bulgarians have managed to take some territory from them. Nice. Their forces might just be getting a little bit warrior -y. Ooh, how many Ethiopians have been murdered? What? Nothing? I don't think they got there. Okay, I was looking forward to seeing a stupid amount of people murdered. Damn it. Never mind. Oh, wait up. Now, Greece is after the nest buster. That is the German one. That annoys me. 
tracks are done on the reverse engineering they are the exact same on that uh machine gun maybe or can actually look at this turret i'll get that done first 10 days to do that not that bothered about the machine gun just yet to be honest it's gonna make little difference it'll be one or two pieces and that's it we did do the engine though didn't we yes we did how is that compared to our other one? Apparently it's better. What? But look at the weight. The new one weighs three tons. Is rather heavy. The older one weighs two tons. The German one only weighs one ton. So what I do need to do is just have a fiddle. So we've got the German pieces of tech in here which are so light in comparison it's great there's a few things but I mean, even the carburetor is better and it's lighter the radiator is incredibly light however oh actually no it's not bad at all I'm going to say the stats on it are shite but they're not it's good transmission oh the weight difference oh it's so much better oh yeah we're gonna have to incorporate this into it some of our who does alrighty with the new tech then so if we have a look at this on its own I think we're gonna have to decide I will so the new engine I'll stick on some of the German stuff in a new design and see how we get on so the side brakes British ones they're not bad at all but they weigh three times as much if I could just get the weight down that would be quite good the cost as well the cost is ridiculous try and go for that the side brakes the German brakes and then the radiator again the German one is so much better German car it's just a German engine really flywheel is actually worse by a significant margin compared to the British Mark III one so we'll go for that and the transmission is going to be the German one it's only going to take five days to do that with the side brakes do I go for the German one to be fair there's only one point in it I oh, know there's a couple no, we're stuck with that. We're stuck with that. Five days, and then we'll do a comparison. And on that note, I'm going to leave this episode here. It's been going on for a little while now. Now, what do you think? Do you think we can... I know we can stick the turret on the Whippet. Can we stick it on anything else? I don't know. And then there's the hull of this with that cannon involved. Can that go on a Whippet? That'll be nice, wouldn't it? We'll have to see. Find out next episode. We'll see what we can muster. Have a lovely day. Have some tea. Hope to see you in the next episode. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Hit that like button. I'll see you next time. ta -ra. Thank you for watching this video all the way through. Hopefully, if you have. If you can like the video too, that helps as well. A special thank you to all of the members of the channel who get lovely benefits of up to two weeks worth of additional content early isn't that right lovely now the next video if it's available will be on the screen right now to the bottom left and the full playlist to the bottom right have a good one